Hi, my name's Tony Redmond, and you're watching Bison TV. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>Saturday night, another new player for the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison as John Baston took to the ice in net for the herd and looked to make an early impression against the Telford Tigers. Before face-off though, it was time to honour a club legend as Tony Redman became just the third Bison player to have his jersey retired with number 20 hanging proudly from the arena walls. The Herd had a home record to defend as well, and were putting the pressures on the visitors' net from the start, believing they'd open the scoring less than two minutes in. Referee Matthews unmoved though, as Sam Gospel's glove save meant the puck didn't cross the line. Matches between the two sides are always hotly contested affairs, and tempers threatened to overboil after a battle in the corner. However, the Bison would soon be the ones to open the scoring. A poor defensive turnover setting up Rene Yarolin, who elect to lay it off for Kieran Long for goal number one. Check out our Barracuda Network's replay for his patience in finding the finish, bringing big rewards in the arena as the first came to an end. Into the second, and again it would be Long getting involved with the action from the start in blistering fashion. The water bottle behind and the net exploding as number 89 made the perfect connection, much like our sponsors Barracuda Networks and their replays, to enjoy again. Again. And again. <laughs> Tigers were struggling to get any sort of hold on the game with even opportunities to clear their own zone, resulting in another goal for the hosts. Much battling around the net eventually finished with Alan Lack tapping home the third. Proving himself a demon at both ends of the ice as he started the play that saw a fourth added to the scoreboard. Thomas Karpov getting the chance to rush in and hammer home to compile Telford's misery at the end of the second. Third period saw no respite from the Paul Baldwin agency's Basingstoke Bison. Long once again involved with the big shot on the power play as Karpov tipped home the fifth of the night. Our Barracuda Network's replay giving you a clearer vision of how the puck once again found its way into the back of the net.
another power play opportunity brought similar rewards for the hosts with Long capping a remarkable night by completing his hat trick. Well worth a look on our Barracuda Network's replay here for the crisp passing that created the opportunity. And tonight the Tigers would rather forget was completed when Alan Lack crashed a rebound on the net for the seventh. Although, to be fair, a host of guys were queuing up as well as a simply dominant offensive display proved the difference. That's not forgetting the antics at the other end as well though, with Baston recording a well-deserved shutout on debut to underline the host performance. And it could have been a little worse for the Tigers if Joe Greener's goal hadn't been disallowed with time ticking down. A simply memorable night for so many reasons as the Bison moved to the top of the EPI NHL.